Yeah, folks, it's Gav from Forge Gym in Inverness. Just doing a little video on corrective exercises for a pretty common problem with set up for the sumo deadlift. Um, this was for Jen Newton, who tagged us on Instagram, just asking how to fix this problem. Um, the issue I'm referring to is that the setup, you lose attention in the lats after you go to start the lift. So if you get it setting in, come down to the bar, everything's nice and tight, looks like you're going to make a good pull, and then before you begin the lift, you actually lose all the tension in the back set. Okay. Simple corrective drills we're going to look at, one with a band and one using the service deadlift station over there. So we'll start with a band set up drill. All you need is some means of securing the band out in front of the bar, very lightweight in the bar itself. And you're going to set up in your normal stance, but quite some distance away from the barbell. So you have to reach forward to get to the bar. So I'm set up for soon also with a flare now and drop in. Reach to the bar, and then from there, I'm going to use my lats, I'm going to depress and retract my lats, pull them in, press my spine down, bring my chin up, spread my chest out as far as I can, okay? So, flare them out, pull them in, and this is where it gets interesting, and to get the bar in further, I have to tighten the lats and tighten the lats and tighten the lats and lift the chin. And then I'm in a good position to have a strong pull. I'm going to hold the tension for a few seconds, keeping the knees out. And then relax off. And knees are out, keep the brace, bums out, that's the tension. And relax. And then take the band tension off. Reset again, roll the bar in again. Trying to duplicate that feel of pulling against the band before I begin to put my dead in. So imagine I've still got the band tension there and I'm rolling in against the tension. So that's the deadlift drill with the band tension. The second one I'm going to do is on the service deadlift platform. This is the back extension variation. Um, it's a lot of work in thoracic spine extension, but we're going to combine it with some uh, scapular depression at the same time. That'll help build that uh, movement pattern and the strength in the relevant muscles. So we can set up for fairly normal back extension. We're trying to position the pad so that the thoracics have to do the majority of the extension. Okay, that's the band tension over my neck. I keep my hands on the bands. From there, it's simple. Come up into thoracic extension and pull the hands back. Thoracic extension and pull the hands back. So you come up, spreading the chest. Driving the hands back, tighten the lats down and back, hold, and then back down to go. Again, in between times, I would go back to the bar, reset in with a barbell, and get that same movement of opening the chest, bracing the sternum, locking the shoulder blades down and back before beginning the door. Try those drills in your own training again. Anyone else has the same problem of folding over around the upper back and deadlift, give those a try, I'm fairly sure it'll get the problem. Thanks very much and we'll see you again next time.